Hey everyone, I'm Aaliyah, and this is Bean, and today I have a very special video for you because I will be unboxing this care package from, do you see the sticker? It's from Disney Chris. So right away I'll make a disclaimer. They did send me all of this stuff for free. But there is a reason behind it, and I'm going to go into that a little bit. If you didn't know, Disney Chris is one of my favorite fantasy pin makers, and I talk about them a lot. And I've done videos on this channel previously unboxing their pins and uh, stuff that I bought on live sales and their fantasy pins and stuff like that. Uh, they're very nice, generous people. They're a family. They recently started this program called Fairy Pin Mother, and they have a email, which I will link down below in the description, where you send them an email to this Fairy Pin Mother Gmail account, and basically you nominate somebody who you think deserves a special magic, magic mail care package from Disney Chris and you tell them why this person deserves it and like special circumstances which would basically make them choose your person to send them this care package for free as like special magic to brighten up their lives a little bit. So my boyfriend Patrick behind the camera, the angel that he is, he found out about this service that they do, this fairy pin mother thing. And he emailed them and told them, you know, why I deserve it. And they chose me and sent me a care package that they customized to my likes. And so just a disclaimer, yes, I got this for free. But again, the reason for that is because... For a little over six months now, I don't know if all of you know this, I think I might have touched on it a little bit before, but unfortunately for the past six months I have been really sick and my whole life has been absolutely miserable, I have such a bad quality of life, all stuff like that, I've just been really sick and really sad and everything like that, so um... He nominated me to get a special package from them, and they felt like I deserved it, so they sent me one. Now, for those of you who just want to watch this video to see me unboxing this and see everything that I got, I will put a timestamp somewhere below on the screen to when the unboxing actually starts. Because before I unbox it, I'm going to kind of dive in and tell you a little bit about my medical story first so that you know what's going on because you are my Unbox Disney family and I like to be real and transparent with you and I like to have you know what's going on in my life and another reason why I want to tell you my medical story is because it's the main factor in my life right now and it's like a really huge part of what I'm dealing with and struggling through and it's also the reason why I'm not putting out as many videos as I want is because my medical issues are like physically preventing me from being able to film and post and stuff like that like a normal person would. So again if you don't want to hear the medical story and you just want to see me unbox stuff, then skip to the time that I put on the screen and then you can see the unboxing. But for those of you that feel like family and really care and want to know about what's going on with me, grab a snack, grab something to drink, and sit down and relax because I'm going to take an extra long story and make it kind of long, so I'm going to do my best to make it as quick as possible because I don't want this to be like an hour long video, but it's just a lot, so I'm going to try to condense it. So I'll start out with, in March, a few weeks after we started the lockdown stay at home quarantine order, we'd been quarantined for about a week or two, 
and all of a sudden, middle of March, I started feeling like extremely, extremely nauseous, like way more nauseous than I ever felt in my entire life. And it was just so hardcore and strong and it lasted all day and I just, I thought it was like food poisoning or something. Like nothing actually like happened. I was just extremely, extremely nauseous. Um, so I kind of brushed it off and just thought that I was like sick or had like the stomach flu or something like that. But then fast forward to about like two weeks later. It had been about 14 days straight of me being extremely high level, worse than I've ever been nauseous in my entire life. I was just so like sick feeling like every single day for two weeks straight. So obviously I knew something was wrong because I was feeling like I did that first day but for 14 days in a row at least. And so I knew something was wrong because, you know, like food poisoning or the stomach flu or something like that, it doesn't last 14 days. It usually lasts 24 hours. So because we were in the stay at home order and we couldn't leave our houses or anything like that, I called a doctor because I didn't have a doctor at the time. But because of all of this stuff going on in the world, we couldn't go out, so I had video call appointments and phone appointments with a doctor, which was really frustrating because it wasn't really doing anything, it wasn't really helping. I would tell her what was wrong with me, but she couldn't really do anything about it because she needed to see me in person to be able to diagnose me. So I had about two months of phone conversations with doctors and nothing really happened. And I ended up having to go to the hospital multiple times because of the nausea and they didn't really do anything. Over the months I got poked and prodded and I had multiple blood tests, multiple blood panels. I had thyroid tests and just lots of blood being removed from my body and blood tests and all this stuff and they still couldn't find anything because all of the blood panels and blood tests and thyroid tests were all normal and didn't show anything wrong. Finally, after the quarantine, I went to go see a doctor. Now this was a different doctor because my original doctor stopped working for the association that my insurance covered so I had to get a new doctor. So I basically had to t tell her everything that I told my other doctor and it felt like I was starting at square one again. And of course, she ordered all of the same blood panels and thyroid tests and everything like that that my other doctor had ordered. She ordered all the same tests. And when I went to the hospital those other times, they ordered all the same blood tests and I always got the same things. Your results are normal. We can't find anything wrong. So I was frustrated because at this point, it was four months since this started. I had been extremely, extremely nauseous every day for four months. Like, can you imagine that? Like, I did not get a break. Now, I was extremely nauseous. I had absolutely no appetite. So I was barely eating. I was extremely nauseous all the time, every day. It affected my eating, my sleeping. I went from around 125 pounds to right now, as I'm sitting here, I am about 85 pounds or less, because I haven't weighed myself in a while. But at this point, four months in, I still didn't know what was wrong with me. Doctors didn't know what was wrong. And I was 85 pounds, which my doctor says that at the weight that I am right now, I am basically, at this moment that I'm speaking to you, I my life right now is basically in limbo and I'm pretty much clinging on to my life as I know it because of where my weight is and stuff. Like any day, it could be tomorrow, it could be months from now, my organs could decide to shut down and stop working. So. That's what I have to worry about every single day and because of my loss of appetite and nausea, 
I can't eat like normal amounts or I can't eat normal foods and stuff like that so I just keep losing weight and I can't gain weight it's just really hard because I'm like involuntarily losing all this weight and I don't know how to fix it but fast forward to like the first or second week of September now this was a little over five almost six months since this started my doctor was like wow a few weeks ago you were 90 something pounds now you're 85 we need to get you into the hospital right now for an emergency CT scan now if you don't know what a CT scan it's like um, x-ray imaging kind of like an MRI where you lay down on this bed and they put you in this tube thing and they can see your organs in 3D so I had to go to the hospital right after my appointment to get an emergency CT scan and they like injected this IV into me and they put this scary like chemical in me that made me feel hot and it made me feel weird and it was really scary and it hurt and it was just traumatizing because I don't like small spaces either and the machine was like a small like hole that you were going into and so I did that I went home and the next day the nurse she called me and she said I need you to call me back it's very important and so I was like oh no that's really bad because you know in my mind this whole time since I didn't know what it was I thought I had something extremely bad you know like I thought it was like some sort of like cancer or something like that um, so I was nervous when she said that it was really important and she needed me to call her back right away so I called her back and she said we have uh, results from your CT scan and we found something and I was like okay and I kind of blacked out so I didn't fully hear what she said all I heard was um narrow muscle connects stomach to esophagus that's all I heard because I just totally blacked out I wasn't listening because I was just so stressed and so I was like yeah okay uh bye and so they referred me to a gastroenterologist specialist they deal with like your abdomen and your digestive system and stuff like that and so when I went to my doctor again to talk about things she explained to me that in the CT scan they saw that the muscle that connects my esophagus to my stomach it is thick and narrow and weakened and so basically it's not working like it should because it's weak and it's thick and it's not supposed to be because it's supposed to like kind of move like this so that it allows the food to go down and it stops acid and digestive juices from coming back up and stuff like that so mine doesn't work so that is what is causing all of this is that my muscle is weak I met with my GI specialist and she scheduled me this is TMI she scheduled me a colonoscopy procedure to see the muscle like to insert a camera up there and look at the muscle more directly from the inside of my body so that she could see exactly what's going on um and then after I get a colonoscopy and they see what's going on so a permanent solution is I have to get surgery on it to fix it who knows when that's gonna happen uh, I'm really scared for it because I've never gotten surgery in my life so I hope it can happen though because this is causing my life to suck really bad. I've been living on my mom's couch for six months. This is my bedroom and this is the first time I've been in this room for weeks. Like I don't sleep up here. I don't do anything up here. I'm laying on the couch all day every day for six months. That's where I sleep. That's where I live every single day and I've been bedridden. Um, I had to turn down admission to a college for a baking program because I couldn't do it physically. I recently just got laid off from my job a few days ago because I haven't been able to come back for months because I physically can't do it. Like I'm so weak 
that I can't stand up for more than like 15 minutes without beginning to faint. Even though I was laid off though, they still marked me as rehirable, so as soon as I feel better, they're just gonna put me back into the system right away. So don't worry, I still have I still have a job, even though I don't have a job right now. Which I'm very grateful for, and I don't mind being laid off because for these past six months, I wasn't making money anyways because of the quarantine and because I was sick and couldn't work anyway. So it's not like I'm losing out on money, it's fine. But, um, this just really sucks because I can't do anything. I'm basically confined to the couch. I had to postpone getting that baking degree. So, which means now I also have to postpone doing the Disney Culinary College program, which I wanted to do. Um, which really sucks. Um, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I can't talk to friends, even if it's social distancing. I can't because I can't do anything for more than 15 minutes without like fainting and stuff and like I look like a skeleton it's really scary I'm like this big really I just really hope that I can get better soon because you know I kind of had a goal before this like I was working out every day to get fit uh I applied to college, I was about to get a promotion at my job, which I had to miss out on and they gave it to somebody else because I've been sick. It's affecting my relationship with my boyfriend and, you know, we're working on that. He's been such a saint, he's helped me so much, but we can't do anything, I can't even, like, cuddle with him or, you know, stuff like that because I'm just so sick, like, nobody can touch me, like, I can barely move or I just feel sick, like... It's just so weird and like I can barely film like I'm trying to push through this right now even though I feel so sick right now um, because this is you know one of my greatest joys in life is this channel and I'm really trying to keep it alive even though you know I'm having a hard time keeping myself alive. That's another reason why I haven't been posting much like I literally have at least like 15 to 20 like video ideas and like hauls and stuff like I have so much like merch and pins and stuff that's just sitting in my hallway in boxes waiting for the time when I feel okay to film. That's my whole medical story. Uh, if you have any questions about it or anything like that just comment below and I'll respond. Let's get into this uh, care package that I'm pretty sure you all have been waiting for because this has been like an hour probably of me just talking about how I'm sick and a skeleton and sad and upset. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see. So, bubble wrap. So the first thing that I'm seeing, ooh, I like this. It's a spooky Minnie Mouse witch hat ears. This is really cute, honestly. <laughs> this is so cute. So it looks like... It says it lights up. I'll try and figure that out later. But this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna wear this in one of my Halloween videos. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I wasn't a big fan of these when I saw them online, but now that I'm seeing them in person, I really like them a lot. So, so far, so good. Let's see. The next thing. Ooh, this must be from a small shop. So this, wow, this is pretty. So this is a bejeweled R2D2 pop socket for the phone. That's really pretty. I wonder who makes these. This is gorgeous. Wow, I really love that. That's so adorable. Oh my goodness. I wonder where this is from. This is awesome. It's the Mandalorian Baby Yoda reusable straws with a case. I gotta open this so I can look at these straws and show them to you up close. This is a really cool gift because I have a few other reusable straws and it's good for the environment. Get those metal straws, everyone. No disposable straws. They kill turtles. So it comes with the straw cleaner. And it comes with four metallic green metal straws. And then, 
<gasps> oh, it comes with this cute little case. It's got Baby Yoda on it, and it says Precious Cargo. That is adorable. I wonder where she got that from. That is so cute. Oh, wow. I'm dumb. There's a card in here. <laughs> I should have done that first. Oh, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to open the top right away because... <gasps> oh, this card is beautiful because I didn't want to see everything at once. So let me show you the front. It's got the fairy godmother from Cinderella on it. This is so beautiful. So it says, Dear Leah, I heard that you may have been in need of a little Disney magic. I wanted to send you a little something for you to know that there are people out there who care about you. I hope this package brings you a little love and life. From your fairy pin mother. That's so sweet. I'm like gonna cry. It's fine. Aww. It's made from wishes by heart. I will link them down below. It's a May the Force Be With You Yoda bracelet. It says, close your eyes and make a wish, then put this bracelet on your wrist. When the bracelet breaks in two, the wish you made may soon come true. That's adorable. Aw, I'll have to wear that. And even though I won't want it to break, I will have to have it break mm, for my wish to come true. Okay, so the next thing I'm seeing is adorable. It's a super soft blanket, and it's <laughs> it's got Baby Yoda on it. It says Precious Cargo. I'm just gonna use this when I'm on the couch, and I'm really sick, and I'm sad, and I'm just gonna cuddle my Baby Yoda blanket, and it'll make me happy. The last thing in here I'm really excited about because oh, I'm gonna scream. This is my very first, can you believe this, my very first spirit jersey ever. Like, I know it's crazy. I don't have any spirit jerseys. Let's have a sidebar real quick. I was supposed to get the Disneyland 65th anniversary, you know, the sparkly, whatever, spirit jersey that just came out. Yeah, okay. Well, I ordered that and the 65th anniversary Mickey plush. We ordered that in July, and we still haven't gotten it, so I just emailed them, and they said that they were unable to obtain payment multiple times, so they canceled my order, which sucks because they didn't email me once saying that they were trying to obtain payment and couldn't. I don't get it. Like, they didn't communicate with me and anything like that. But anyways, needless to say, I didn't get that spirit jersey, and I didn't get the plush, so <sighs> it's fine. But anyways, that was supposed to be my first spirit jersey, but this is even better because they got me the Walt Disney World Halloween spirit jersey, which is spooky and cute and awesome, and I am so shocked. Like, what? <laughs> I'm so surprised. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, and it's fuzzy. Wow. I'm definitely gonna have to wear this in another one of my Halloween videos. I do have Halloween videos planned and I'm gonna try to push through them and make them because I still really want to participate in Halloween activities, Halloween stuff, even though I'm going through what I'm going through. So I'm just going to be strong, and I'm going to push through, and I'm going to make my Halloween videos for you. We just filmed the Boogie Ween mystery pin boxes with Duffy and Friends. That should already be out before this. This video will be next after that, and then after that, we will have the Halloween Moody Bobbity box, and then I also got a Halloween Be Our Guest Express box. So those will be the last Halloween videos. I'm trying to figure out if I have anything else planned for Halloween. If I do, you'll see it. If I don't, sorry. I have to try to find the energy, but I'll do it because I'm so excited. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for supporting me and being on this journey with me and sending me love and stuff because that really helps me out and it makes me feel so happy 
and loved on my darkest days when I feel like I'm so sick and can't do this. It makes me push through for you guys and uh, I wanted to say thank you so much to Disney Chris and her family. Like this means so much to me. Um, what this thing that you're doing for everyone, this is so important and so meaningful because it really brightens up people's days who are having a hard time in their life and this is so generous like this this seems this was probably so expensive like I can't even imagine but this is so generous and so amazing I'm so glad that you think that I deserve this and that you think what I'm going through is important enough to deserve this uh, that makes me feel special and obviously I wish I wasn't going through this but I am so you know, getting something like this really helps out because it's been really hard. Uh, but with that being said, I will see you in the next Halloween video. Happy spooky season, everyone. Bean, that is all for this video. What do we say, Bean? Smoochie. Have a magical day, everyone. Goodbye.